Greetings, and welcome once again to Music and Meditation with Pastor Fred and Sharon Moore. And Sharon, thank you for that beautiful hymn, His Eye is on the Sparrow. Listen to these words of Scripture. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. 1 Timothy, 2nd chapter, verses 1 through 6. I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind. That man is Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. This has now been witnessed to the proper people at the proper time. Leviticus, thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, I am the Lord. And listen now to the words we find in 1 John 4, 20. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Repeating that verse again from 1 John. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? There are some things that people like to hate. We, like to, we hate people who tell you that you look tired. That We, we hate pistachios that don't open. We hate that last sip of water in the water bottle. We hate people who ask questions during movies. We hate fizzy water that's no longer fizzy. We hate it when a person you're talking to has something in his teeth. We hate elevator conversations. We hate soggy burger buns. We hate things that need triple A batteries. We hate people who hate things for no reason. We hate great books with terrible endings. We hate weekend vacations that go by much too fast. We hate small talk. We hate unhelpful criticism. We hate never knowing completely if we're on the right path. Well, here are some things that God hates, and some even are an abomination. They're all found in Proverbs 6. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly to evil, a false witness who lies, and anyone who spreads strife. Well, we're human beings. And human beings, of course, are emotional beings. No emotion is inherently bad. It becomes bad when it is misdirected towards self-serving or unjust aims. Thus, in Titus verses 3-7, through 7, it reads, For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serve, di serving divers' lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit, which he shed on us abundantly through Christ Jesus, our Savior, 
that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. And Psalm 97, 10 says, we should hate evil, love God, and establish justice. Oh, I'm sure that for all of us, there are some things we hate. I hate runny eggs and rare meat. I, I don't know about you. I hate people who spit when they talk. I hate hot dogs that don't have any mustard or relish. And I hate homework assignments. Used to when I was in school, they were due on Monday. Had to do it over the weekend. Shameful. As a student, I thought if homework was always turned in on Friday, that would leave the weekend, you see, free for fun and relaxation. Another thing I hate, some people like and I don't, raw fish. Ugh. I hate portable restrooms. There are some people we find unlikable, but we should try not to encourage any kind of hate in our spirit. I recently read that hate is a strong sentiment and there can be many roots hate can take to seep into our hearts. Once it does, it has the power to control us, and this negativity festers and grows inside of us. As followers of Christ, we need to know what hate is and what it's capable of and master the art of starving that hate into love. Overcoming hate and choosing love, it requires effort. Getting over anger can take time. We must immerse ourselves in God's way of thinking. He will help us turn hate into love. We must remember that love is natural. Hate is unnatural. Yes, that's what I said. Hate is unnatural. We have the power to embrace love or hate. And certainly love, although it can be a struggle sometimes, is still the better choice. Listen to these words from 1 Corinthians if I had the gift of being able to speak in other languages without learning them and could speak in every language that there is in heaven and earth but didn't love others, I would be just a making noise. If I had a gift of prophecy and knew all about what was going on to happen in the future and knew everything about everything but didn't love others, what good would it do? If I had the gift of faith so that I could speak to a mountain and make it move, I would still be worth nothing at all without love. If I gave everything to poor people, and if I were burned alive for preaching the gospel, but didn't love others, it would be of no value, whatever. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly ever notice when others do wrong. It is never glad about injustice, but it rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you have love for someone, you will be loyal to him or her, no matter what the cost. You will always believe in him, always expect the best of him and always stand your ground defending him and all these gifts these powers from God will someday come to an end but love goes on forever yes there are three things that remain faith hope and love and the greatest of these of course is love love indeed never fails it may be challenging sometimes but it never fails. Oh, hate is always there, lurking in the corners of our minds, but we have the power to embrace love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now let us pray that prayer together that Jesus taught us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, 
and, and the glory, glory for forever ever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. And now, till we meet again, God be with you, and God bless you. Amen.